Over the past 16 years, the government has banned eight chemical additives that cause cancer and genetic damage, asthma, and many of the other health conditions, as tartrazine does. And you know what's interesting? All eight of those crucial steps forward in our kids' health were taken under President Trump. But the Democrats, who claim to be all about health care, have stood by watching other countries ban these poisons and make our kids sick, asthmatic, hyperactive, and depressed. They left them on every supermarket shelf in America. They okay, RFK breaks down in this like six minute video just dropping bombs, knowledge bombs, left and right. If this doesn't inspire you just a little bit or just open your eyes, show you something, enlighten you to some things, then I don't then I don't know what will this is what most Americans innocently put into their bodies these days and most alarmingly into the bodies of their children and it's no coincidence that Americans die earlier than Canadians or Germans or Italians or Japanese or Koreans or Australians or most any other comparable country and it wasn't always that way until the early 1990s our life expectancy was the same or better than other developed countries. Then suddenly, more and more Americans began suffering from chronic diseases, from obesity, cancer, diabetes, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, heart disease, and all kinds of autoimmune diseases. Our maternal mortality rate soared to the highest of any developed country on earth. Same with infant mortality. Like the frog in the slowly boiling water, we didn't really notice as we got sicker and sicker. We've grown now to accept chronic disease conditions as normal. But now, in 2024, we're finally waking up to this cataclysm and we're asking ourselves, how in the world did this happen? A big part of it is our diet. Restaurants that serve contaminated food are fined or shut down. But when it's the government that approves the poisons in our food, a few people get very, very rich, and the toxins end up in every supermarket aisle. Let me show you what I mean. Doritos, Cheez-Its, Cap'n Crunch, gummy bears. Everyone knows that these are junk foods, so maybe you wouldn't be too surprised to see that the ingredients include a lot of poisons, including a harmful yellow dye called tatrazine, or yellow dye number five. What you may not know is that this dye was originally made out of the sludge that's left over when you turn coal into coke for blast furnaces. It's called coltar, and I've actually sued many big industries for legacy contamination of coltar all around the country because it's so toxic and it's so harmful to the environment and human beings. A century ago, it was just an obnoxious industrial byproduct that everybody was trying to figure out ways to get rid of. One of the ways that they did that was by paving roads. But then a British chemist figured out that the coal tar could be used to derive fabric dye. And if fabric dye, why not food? Food manufacturers began using it to cover up the discoloration of low quality foods that they wanted to pass off on unsuspecting customers. They didn't know back then that this yellow dye Tartrazine causes tumors, asthma, developmental delays, neurological damage, ADD, ADHD, hormone disruption, gene damage, anxiety, depression, intestinal injuries. Well, we know it now. We've known this for decades. That's why tartrazine is heavily restricted in other countries. In some countries, foods with tartrazine have a warning label that it may cause ADHD in children. Today, it's made from petroleum, not coal tar. Either way, it's crazy to add this to your kid's favorite foods. It doesn't even change the flavor. This yellow dye isn't just in junk food. It's in the foods that we consider healthy. It's in everyday kids' snacks like popcorn, mac and cheese, fruit snacks. It's in sports drinks like Gatorade and so-called vitamin water. It's even added to chicken broth, to corn, to pickles, to mustard, and to yogurt. And so, of course, our kids get sick. And we lovingly feed them chewable vitamins, which have, surprise, tartrazine. And so the cycle continues until the coughs and asthma kick in, at which point you go to pick up some cough syrup. And yeah, you guessed it, Tartrazine. I've been picking on tartrazine today, but that's just one of at least 100 chemical poisons that our health agencies allow into our children's food. I can make a video just like this to talk about Red 40, BHA, BHD, potassium bromate, 
chemical after chemical and on and on and on. If just one of them can cause all of these problems, imagine what they're doing in combination. That has never been studied. If we took all of these chemicals out, our nation would get healthier immediately. We'd have fewer sick days. We'd have better focus. We'd have less anxiety. Our kids would learn more easily. We'd lose weight. We'd have more energy. We'd have fewer tumors and longer lives. It's not all dark. Over the, over the past 16 years, the government has banned eight chemical additives that cause cancer, genetic damage, asthma, and many of the other self-conditions as tartrazine does. And you know what's interesting? All eight of those crucial steps forward in our kids' health were taken under President Trump. But the Democrats who claim to be all about health care have stood by watching other countries ban these poisons and make our kids sick, asthmatic, hyperactive, and depressed. They left them on every supermarket shelf in America. They even used your tax money to put them in your kid's school lunch. So their big food and their big ag donors probably gave them all that golden handshake and the big money hug. And their big pharma donors probably called them up and thanked them also because now they're going to make billions selling Adderall, Prozac, and rescue inhalers. Enough is enough. President Trump and I are going to stop the mass poisoning of American children. Together, we're going to make America healthy again. I don't even know what to say. That was freaking powerful. And the thing that makes me, I guess, the most frustrated is like when you see that Tetrazine or whatever this is, is and an, like chicken broth. If you're somebody who's healthy, you're trying to, you know, cook your chicken, get your steak, get your rice, you know, do your broccoli or whatnot. Hopefully, you're cooking your stuff with broth because it's going to add extra protein, extra good fatty acids for you, all the good stuff. But that has that shit in it too. It's like you can't escape this, and it blows me away that other countries have these rules and regulations, but we do, <clears throat> we don't, and. I didn't know that in the past we've already had eight like uh, chemicals or additives that have been banned, and they've all been under the Trump campaign. I didn't know that. It was something that I learned in this video, and I hope you learned something too. So if you did, please leave a like, share this video with all your friends and family, because truly, to make America great again, we need to make it healthy again. And as somebody who's lost 100 pounds, who's helped hundreds of other people lose hundreds of pounds as well, this is something that I truly, truly believe it is down to my essence and that the strong, their goal is to inspire and to motivate the weak to become strong and to give back and set up those social boundaries. And if we can make people healthy and greater and give back to the community, that's exactly that. But let me know what you guys think about this. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for the next one. Peace. State and local governments around transit dollars and looking holistically at the connection between that and housing. And looking holistically at the incentives we in the federal government can create for local and state governments to actually engage in planning in a holistic manner that includes prioritizing affordable housing. I'm extremely confused. You're confused. I'm fucking confused, bro. Me too.